Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. And today we're talking about how you can handle the autumn clock change with your kiddies sleep. So this is my third idea for you. If you haven't seen the first two, then you can go back and check those out. But today I have one more exciting uh, way that you could navigate this clock change. So stick around. Alrighty, so the last two episodes I shared with you the gradual approach and I shared with you how to use the meet in the middle compromise where it's kind of like the halfway house. So if you hadn't already guessed it, today I'm going to the other end of that spectrum and this approach I like to call all in one and it's where you do this all in one. But it's really important when you go into this that you're not kind of complacent about how you're going to do it and that you know that actually the clocks change tomorrow or they change tonight in the middle of the night. Um, which way do I need to move my kiddies sleep tonight by an hour? Because it's easy to get it wrong, it's confusing and it can be <laughs> just as easy to forget as well. So the clocks are going back an hour and on Saturday night, if you're gonna do this all in one, then you're gonna move the bedtime later by one hour. So that means if bedtime for your little one is usually 7 p.m., then on Saturday night, we're gonna make it 8 p.m. And they're gonna be delighted because it means they get to stay up a whole hour later, lucky them. <laughs> so if you feel they have the stamina and they can do it, then this might be an approach for you. What's gonna happen is they're gonna to go to bed at eight, but eight is the new seven, you see, because as we go through the night, that clock's gonna go back an hour. So when you went to bed at eight, that's kind of the new seven. And that means that they get to have the same number of hours sleep and wake up the same kind of time they do most mornings. And that time on the clock will read as it normally does. And their bodies will have had the same amount of sleep as they normally have. So it helps to kind of keep things as much the same as possible for them. And then when they wake for the day, you start the day as normal, you have your meal times, your activity times as normal. Um, and on that Sunday, then again, back to bed for 7 p.m., the new seven, which was last night's eight. And so this is just a really nice way of getting one step ahead. Now, Yes, you could just do this on the Sunday. That is a point, it is, you could, but the clocks are gonna be different. So when they wake in the morning, um, on, on Sunday morning, if you haven't done this, then there's a really good chance that they're gonna be out of sorts and out of whack. So it just really does help and have this up your sleeve and know what you're doing with it. Okay, so this is all in one. I did also share with you a couple of other approaches and in the next episode, I'm going to recap those for you as well as share with you um, some really key Key information that you need to know about the autumn clock change so don't miss the next episode if you're gonna go for this all-in-one approach who would who would this be best for well you if you have a very sensitive little one or a baby that's napping a lot you're gonna really want to go for the more gradual approach this is a better approach for a child or maybe an older child who is more flexible and if you know you have a flexible child then lucky you and this is not the super alert but this is somebody who's more flexible where you know if they go to bed an hour later they tend to wake up an hour later or if you've got the child that's a bit like that and they do go with the flow a bit more easily then this could be a great approach for your little one all right so I will see you in the next episode, which you can't miss, remember? It's very, very important. And in the meantime, check out the link and grab yourself an amazing sleep resource that's going to absolutely, oh, it's gonna give you tools you can use right now tonight. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.